This video will give you a quick overview of how OnePager works with Planisware Enterprise. OnePager takes one or more projects that you already have in Planisware and builds data-driven timelines and Gantt charts that are perfect for presentations to executives and for team meetings. In this video, we'll create a chart that captures the key details of three projects from a portfolio. Start in Planisware, where you'll need to choose which activities should be included in your one-pager chart. To do this, right-click on an existing column heading and insert a new attribute. By default, OnePager will filter your Planisware activities based on a Boolean attribute called Send to OnePager. Search for this attribute by name, being sure to look at all available attributes, not just the documented ones. If you don't see this attribute, check with your Planisware administrator and ask them to add it for you. Once you've inserted the OnePager attribute into your project, check the box next to each activity that you'd like to import from Planisware. When you're finished, save your work. Because we're planning to create a portfolio level chart, we'll select activities from all three projects using the same series of checkboxes. Now it's time to import your projects into OnePager. Launch OnePager from the desktop icon or from your Windows Start menu. On the Start screen, click New to make a new chart. At the top of the Import Wizard, click on Select and then Browse Planisware Enterprise. OnePager will prompt you to sign into your Planisware account. Begin by entering the URL for your Planisware instance. Once you've done that, you can choose how you'd like to connect. OnePager supports single sign-on through many IDPs, including Azure Active Directory and Okta. You can also sign in using a traditional username and password by unchecking the Use SSO box first. Once you're connected to Planisware, OnePager will provide you with a list of all of the projects in your account. If you only need to import one project, click on it and press OK. In our case, we want to import several projects from a portfolio, which you can do by holding down the control key while selecting multiple projects at once. After you've grabbed all of the projects that you need, click OK. Next, select a template, which controls the initial look and feel of your one-pager chart. Because we're importing multiple Planisware projects, we'll choose a multi-project template. If your organization has already created a custom one-pager template, feel free to use that instead. Give your chart a title which will be the name of your file when you save it. Now, it's time to apply the activity filter that we established earlier in Planisware. By telling OnePager to look at the Send to OnePager attribute, only activities with that box checked will appear in the chart. Finally, choose the date of your snapshot, which serves as the status date of your chart. Over time, you can add multiple snapshots to your chart as of different dates and track changes as the data is updated back in Planisware. Everything looks good, so we can click the Create New Chart button to kick off the import of the three Planisware projects and build the one-pager chart. If you create a report from only one project, OnePager will group tasks into swim lanes based on their position in the WBS from Planisware. For multi-project reports, like the one shown here, OnePager first groups activities by the project name. In this example, we've added a secondary swim lane grouping so that all activities from each section of the Planisware WBS are aligned into a timeline layout. Like swim lanes, colors can be assigned dynamically as well. In this case, OnePager has assigned color based on the Planisware WBS, making it easy to identify the same phase of each of the three projects in the portfolio. For example, all tasks that are part of Phase 1 have a blue color, regardless of whether they belong to Project A, B, or C. With Planisware custom attributes, you can group your swim lanes by a different field, change your layout from a timeline to a Gantt chart, or maybe color code your activities by status or resource instead of WBS. You can modify hundreds of different settings by using the Chart Properties button on the Home tab. If needed, you can also make minor drag and drop edits in the body of your chart using the toolbar. However, we strongly recommend customizing your chart using the Chart Properties button since these edits will be more directly tied to your Planisware activities and WBS and will also be easier to standardize later. The real power of OnePager is behind the Chart Properties button, so it's definitely worth exploring on your own or watching our video that covers it in more detail. 
As your projects in Planisware change over time, it's easy to keep your one-pager chart in sync. From the Data tab, click the Replace Snapshot button for a quick refresh, or click the Add Snapshot button to update your chart as of a different date so that you can track changes to your portfolio over time. When you're ready to share your chart, return to the Home tab and click the Copy button, which will place your chart onto the clipboard so that you can paste it pretty much anywhere. You can also save your chart to PowerPoint, PDF, or image formats. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.